I want chicken. I want liver. Meow mix, meow mix, please fill me with cum. It's automotive bread. You know exactly what you're gonna get. Why do I lust over cars from the 1990s? It isn't just rose-colored glasses, surge soda, glow bowling, mighty mighty boss tones, whitey Ford sings the blues, ants marching, one headlight, and micro machines, or rounding the bases while Nickelodeon's roundhouse is turned up loud on an RCA television for drowning out the sounds of a labia spreading wide, waiting for me to drive in. Because those ten ever-bright years were the intersection between maximum technology and minimum weight. Most folks who bought Toyota Tercels in the 1990s were basic billies and betties. The Tercel was a simple car for simple folks who clap when the plane lands, and they sing Leaving on a Jet Plane by John Denver on the way to Philadelphia International Airport. Even though they're both going. The original MSRP of the 1997 Tercel was $11,279 with no options, while a maxed out Nano was $3,000 in 2011 or $2,140 in 1997. Not the same. But neither is this particular Tercel. It speaks French. It makes friends with everybody. It's a shoulder to cry on every other election cycle. It's Canadian. That means no airbags at all. Good luck, hoser. Here's a parcel shelf where the passenger airbag should be. It has no low fuel light. Just look at the gas gauge, Jesus Murphy. And rad looking seats. It has daytime running lights though. Interesting, because USDM market cars only started getting DRLs en masse in 2010 because the United States does not have a federal DRL law. The engine, of course. It's the same across all markets. The 5E FE dual overhead cam 16 valve 4 making 93 horsepower and 100 pound feet. First gear is really low and easily breaks traction even though this is the auto box version and the automatic can still touch the mythical 50 miles per gallon if the car is unladen with no passengers. The 4-speed auto achieves 50 miles per gallon by skipping third gear under gentle acceleration. Or it'll also skip third gear if you chop throttle after hard acceleration in second gear. The brochure for the Tercel really laid on the adjectives and adverbs because the car was so utilitarian. It said, outstanding performance and styling and exceptional fuel economy, the perfect mix of value and fun. Everywhere, the attention to detail is clearly evident. It's got an aftermarket radio with Bluetooth and an add-on that mimics a CD changer so you can listen to the X-Files movie soundtrack to your heart's content. The tachometer on Tercel's was only available for manuals, but Luke wanted a tachometer so he worked around that by pulling a gauge cluster out of a junkyard from a manual Tercel and put it in this one. The front left brake caliper has been replaced. The failing radiator has been replaced. The AC condenser was leaking when purchased and the power steering and compression belt tensioner need to be replaced soon since both failed on the way to Pennsylvania from Halifax, Nova Scotia. By the 90s, the Toyota Corolla was starting to go up market, so their Tercel was Japanese equivalent of uh, a Dodge Neon. Affordable, consistent, unspectacular. From the heights of going to see Batman and Robin for the first time, and the lows of having seen Batman and Robin for the first time. It's for first love and dry hand jobs outside the bowling alley. And for first heartache and the long slide down the shower wall to how's it gonna be. This Tercel offers the Coral Rose Pearl Color, which was a shade exclusive to 1997 and only on the four-door models. It's a color that's evocative of a time where you would drink to excess and only get to work the next morning without palming an entire grenade's worth of Advil first, or when you'd go out for a night on the town 
and you'd run into a few people on the way to the next bar, and you share a brief moment of camaraderie. They're drunk, and you're going to be drunk soon, too. And there's this kinship about being shithouse that you don't realize is stupid because you're in college. And yeah, you're there to learn things, but only in the ceremonial sense. I mean, sex is cool and all, but have you ever woken up after a night of drinking to find out you didn't do or say or text anything to embarrass yourself the night before? That's good living. And yeah, having high expectations for a car with as long and noble a reputation as the Tercel is cool and all, but you know what's even cooler? Tempering your expectations. The Tercel can be fulfilling if you're not consistently searching around the corner for fulfillment. And I wasn't. And that's why this car is so memorable to me, even though the power steering wasn't working at the moment, but that's fine. The car still feels fine. Really, fun-er because the stiff, for the time in the 90s, suspension communicates transferring weight and traction, even faster with no power steering. When you're driving it fast, you'll know years before the front will push or the back will step. The Tercel is so happy and alive in all the ways a Mazda 3 is corporate, dampened, and dead. In a Tercel, mash the throttle, and even with an automatic, and with waste spark coils, no variable valves, and a mechanical throttle, the 5E FE engine goes, Hell yeah, boss! You got it! Do that with a modern Mazda 3 with variable valves and computer-controlled everything, mash the throttle, and that engine goes, Uh, that's not in my job description. You're gonna have to talk to corporate. The original wheels were 13 inches, but Luke found 15-inch steelies, painted them gloss silverish black, and added Toyota hubcaps. In a world where cash for clunkers has seemed to eat all the fun, cheap cars, the Toyota Tercel avoided most of these problems. People still kept them because they found there was nothing wrong with the Tercel. In a world where cars are getting heavier and heavier, the Tercel becomes a machine that becomes more exciting as the years go on and on. If you're looking for a first car and you're still in bondage to your parents, though, this will be a tough sell to them. Even in the U.S. where we get airbags, people are going to look at this and say, ah, oh, that's small, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna die. You're not going to die. It's way safer than the 70s shit boxes that your parents rolled around in. And the easy fuel economy is something that will never be replicated today. It will be buzzy and loud on the highway. There is very little sound deadening. But the Toyota Tercel is a car that I point to whenever I get the question, Hey, Mr. Regler, how practical will it be to ride a motorcycle as your only vehicle? Ah! A used UJM motorcycle and a Toyota Tercel are always the same price on Craigslist. Or Facebook Marketplace, because that's catching up too. You're not going to win any races. You're not going to impress anybody. But when you're taking the back way home from work, this car will impress you and only you. Have a good week. I used to know what love is And then I found this car It was resilient, reliable like you But like an overripe banana I think I held on way too long But holding on for me is nothing new When life gives you bananas You go and make banana bread If only to pretend You'll share it with your friends. Don't let one bad banana go and ruin that whole loaf. You're something in my life I miss the most. So here's a toast.